to the press box. I'm Mary Rominger beside Nick Mantis, and we are previewing Thursday's NFL draft. Mm, let's get and it. The NFL draft starts, of course, Thursday night in Detroit, and you can watch it live here on KSAT 12. Nick, who do you think will go number one if it's not already very obvious? It, it, I'm going to have to go with the obvious pick. <laughs> Everybody knows it's probably going to be Caleb Williams. He should probably already start looking for Lakeshore property right now in Chicago while he can get in before it's going to get even crazier as time goes on. He He's the full package for what everybody's looking for. Probably one of the better talents. And, and I think that if you don't pick Caleb Williams, th that's just going to be a mistake that will go on forever and ever and ever. Another thing that Chicago Bear fans can not look forward to talking about in the future. Who do you have? Um, Caleb Williams. I mean, they drafted or they traded away Justin Fields. At this point, it feels incredibly obvious inevitable that he's going to go to um, the Bears there's smoke sp screens though this time of year though mm. they try to keep you on your toes so don't be fooled it's it's going to be Caleb Williams yeah all right the Cowboys currently have the 24th pick in the first round Nick what position should the Cowboys use on that pick and who should they get I know Jerry Jones probably wants to go very flashy just because that's what he's known for doing but I think when you're talking about you're going to go all in, you're going to reassert yourself as a dominant force in this league, I think you also have to bolster up that offensive line a little bit more. One of the guys I love in the offensive line, I was just looking through a couple of names, Jackson Powers Johnson out of Oregon. He was the center for that Oregon team who had an opportunity to do incredible things this year. I think he's the guy who you could pick for that offensive line. Yeah, you need to replace Tyron Smith. And possibility, if, if Joe Alt falls from Notre Dame, yeah. that would be awesome. But, um, yeah, also running back is a position where uh, the Cowboys could use a little a bit of help. So we'll see. They have a lot of work to do in the draft if they want to be successful because they didn't do a whole lot in free agency. Unlike the Houston Ooh. Texans, who did a lot in free agency, they don't have a first-round draft pick this year, but they do have two picks in the second round, 42nd overall and 59. What do the Texans need come draft time? I think they got a lot of different free agents defensively, but I think you still have to make sure that you get more guys to come in who can maybe replace those star defensive guys you got in the offseason. Because, as we all know, the NFL stands for not for long. The injuries are going to happen this year. So I think safety and defensive tackle are some places that the Texans can go. Off of the safety, just off of some people that I was looking at, I'm going to have to go with Georgia safety, Javon Bullard. He's a nickel guy. He plays a tough, aggressive style of defense. I think he's the guy to go for. Yeah, I like that. And I just trust in D'Amico Ryans. They picked C.J. Stroud with the number two pick. I believe that they're, um, even though they have later picks, they'll know what to do with them. I, I really trust yeah. what Houston is doing. All right, that's it for the Press Box.